Hey y'all, today I want to discuss how to return an error message from a server action and display it in a form. So here I've got a really simple form created and it's calling our server action when it's submitted. So let's go ahead and take a look at that server action. And you can see it's really simple. It's simply uploading the name and email to a Vercel Postgres table called users. So let's learn how to return errors from this action and display them in our form. First, I'm going to add this code to check if the email provided is a valid email. And if it's not, I'm going to return an error message like this. And then we'll also return an error message if there's some error occurring when trying to upload the table. Now we can move back into our form component and we're going to be using the React use form state hook in order to use information returned from our action. So first we need to turn our form into a client component like this. And then we can import use form state from React DOM like this, and we'll call it at the top level of our component. Here we're passing in our action as well as the form's initial state. So use form state returns an array with two items. The first is the current state of the form, which initially is whatever we provided. And then once their form is submitted and we call our action, it's gonna update to be whatever is returned from the server action. Um, and then the second is a new action that will pass to our form as its action prop. So now let's update our form to use the new action from the hook. And now we need to go back into our server action and pass a new argument into it. So this argument will be the current state of the form and it has to come first like this. It's also important to make sure it's typed correctly to get rid of that TypeScript error we had earlier in the form. Finally, back in our form, we can use form state to check if there's an error message returned from our action. And if there is, we can display it at the bottom of our form like this. Now, if we go test this out in the browser, we see that if I enter an invalid email, our error message displays at the bottom of our form. And if I enter a valid email, it's erased, replaced, because there's no longer an error being returned from our action. And that is it. I'm going to be making a series of short videos on forms and server actions. So if you have anything specific that you'd like me to cover, leave it in the comments below and I might make a video over it. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.